The world around us is changing so fast, it seems to me one of the few things you can know for certain is that organisations will need to be more flexible, more dynamic and have an even stronger continuous learning culture than they've had before. A big narrative we've been building uh, for about a year and a half, which is I can be me in DWP. We aspire and passionately want to be as the most inclusive employer in the UK. How do you know what traction you're making? We've got stats we can track about declaration rates, etc. But to be inclusive, it's about those moments that matter. When you make a choice to hire, what choice are you making? When you make a choice about which colleagues you prefer to step in and support, which colleagues you give high profile pieces of work to. To be inclusive, I think as leaders we have to show some vulnerability. We have to show that we don't know everything, we haven't got the answers to everything, that we welcome learning from others. I'm lucky enough to be reverse mentored by somebody with Asperger's who works in one of our um, service centres. I've learned so much from him. Uh, he speaks absolute truth to power. And when I first met him, he said, you know, I've read things you've written on the, on the internet. It doesn't make any difference. And then, you know, move on a few years. Actually, when I get feedback from him about, actually, I can see things changing on mental health attitudes. I can see more people taking it seriously. We've got mental health first aiders. It's more, uh, we're encouraging much more about open conversations. That's a fantastic, it's anecdotal, but my word, that's a, I kind of know we've, we're doing something that's beginning to shift the, the needle. I've worked in HR for 30 years and most approaches to people management uh, in terms of the performance space, I think I've, I've experienced one hand or another. Ultimately, whatever approach you take needs to come back to how does it reinforce or drive cultural change?